Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I create a slideshow and add it as a blog post to my website. So we'll start in the collections. So you'll notice that the job collection is empty. Now, I know I did a shoot um, last week in Yang Chengpu, so I want to actually um, use that as the post. So I'll go to the photo library, and inside the photo library, I look down. 2024 March and here's the here's the folder containing the images that I want to use for the for the blog post so there's 84 images so um, command A to select them all and then I press the B key I want to repopulate the smart collection workflow like this so now job has got 84 in and I can see from those 84 I'd actually process 44 so I'll click on done and now the next task is to choose the images that I actually want to use in the slideshow on my website. So let's have a look. I tend to use the spray can here at the bottom, so the painter, and I'll paint keywords. You can paint many things if you don't know, but in this case, I'm going to paint keywords and I want blog. I'm just going to make the thumbnails a little bit smaller so I can see more of them. There we go. And I'll go through and I will simply add the ones that I like. I'm not going to add all of them because obviously if, if you put a massive slideshow up there, it makes it, it can make your website slow. Um, so I'm not going to add all of them. Just ones that I like. Okay, bear with me while I do that. Uh, that one I'll have. Okay, and I'll put the spray cam back. Open up this left panel. So now I've marked quite a number with blogs. So what I need to do now is actually close the collections and I'll open publish services. Now, this is something I will go into in more detail in a separate video, but just for now, I'm just going to show you exactly how it works. So I have um, the blog 2024. This is using a plugin called Imagely. Um, this is linked to my website. So it allows me to actually make a smart collection here. So that, let me just show you. So I'll right click this one, create publish smart collection. Now I know that uh, this was Yang Chengpu, so uh, the date was nine, wasn't it? Nine, it's okay. Oh nine, Yang Chengpu, and so the, the the first parameter is the capture date. So capture date is on the ninth, and then add one more parameter, and you can probably guess what it's going to be. It's going to be other oh, metadata keywords contains all and then blog so only images that were captured on the ninth and have the keyword blog will actually be selected and published if I click create see now there's 21 images here and all I need to do is go up to this right hand corner and click publish those images have now been published as you can see here it says public published videos and you can see that now there's the 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 smart published collection is inside of March here as you can see I, I didn't really do this I've had this setup for a long time but didn't use it properly and I should use it more because it's very easy to do so now this is published now we need to go and choose an image for the featured image for the website so I'm gonna choose let me see which one I think I'll choose the cat actually so let me go to this one in showing the collection job okay and I'll export it so the cat I have a, a preset here for the featured image um, 
Um, so yeah, it just uses the um, it just uses the the name of the it sets the title as the name, yeah, and it sets the image size as well here. So now I can export it. And for this, I will uh, actually place it. I will place it inside the. Um, let me find it here. Master folder. Video. Twenty twenty four oh three. Yang Chen Pu. I'll place it in here. And there we go. That one's done. So there's the featured image. Okay, awesome. So now I need to go to the website and then prepare the post for publication. So this is my dashboard. Actually, this is the post listing inside of the WordPress website that I use. So I just need to add a new post here. Add the title. I need to put the text in here like this. And then finally, I will add a YouTube link. Add media. This one. The post there. And this one, I can click on it. And then I can add a link to it. Oh, wait. There's the there's the link. Paste. Apply. And now let me just go down to the next. There we go. Right, now I just need to add the add the gallery into the post. So this is Next Gen Gallery. It's a, a plugin that you can get for WordPress. And Next Gen Gallery also includes the Lightroom plugin so that you can actually link the two together. So all I need to do now is find the gallery here. And you'll see if I go down, there we go, 09 Yang Changpu. I can see there's probably a problem with that um, naming convention because eventually I'm going to have the next month coming up, but I'll fix that when I come to it. Right, so here we on here we choose the the format for the slideshow so i'm just going to go with pro tile click insert gallery so now we have the text the title i don't want a sidebar go down to select the category diary set the featured image now i need to upload the file for this one master folder Video twenty four oh three Yang Cheng Pu. There it is, that one. It'll upload it. There we go. And set featured image. Okay, awesome. And then all I need to do is just click publish. My website's not the fastest. I believe that my the server is actually over in Canada and I'm in Taiwan. So <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not the fastest. Let me just uh open it in a new tab. You can see. There we go. And it takes a little while for the slideshow to speed up. I think it has to cache it. So when you first upload it, um it does take a little time. And what I could have done is set the date to the ninth, which I may I may very well do. Here we go. So here here come the images now. And so yeah, it's as simple as that. How to create um, a blog post, a diary page, whatever you want to call it. And I think it's important that you share the images. And of course, there's a link here to the YouTube video, so I can go there and watch the same the same thing here. There we go. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.